What is up guys, Badge right here, welcome back to a brand new video. And I know I've been inactive quite a bit recently, and I apologize for that. There's going to be a lot more active uploads coming up very soon, uh, so keep an eye out for that. But today, I do want to talk about a free-to-play game that I did find recently, and I think it's honestly amazing. And I think it'll fit like the whole Roblox scenery for you guys and all the FPS players that do play on Roblox. It'll fit you guys perfectly. Now, this game is on Steam, and I know some of you guys might not have Steam or even know what Steam is. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, get Steam and what it is real quick. First thing you want to do is go to your browser, type in Steam, and then the first thing that pops up, welcome to Steam, click that. At the top right, click log in. Then click the join Steam uh, button. Then after you do that, obviously, you create your account just like you would on Roblox or any other site, anything like that. Now, there are some people that always are very scared to download applications like this, that they're a virus, but I assure you, this is not a virus in any way. This is a launcher, just like how if you go to Roblox webpage and then you click on a game and click play, it's just it works just like that. Steam holds about 98% of all PC games that are that ever been released, just so you guys know. So it's basically the main placeholder for most games out there, just how, like how Roblox is the main placeholder for all their games as well. That's kind of how it works and also there is other games on there that are free to play that if you guys have free time and you want to try out other games because i know a lot of people don't uh, have a bunch of stuff to do right now because the virus stuff so there's a bunch of free to play games on steam along with the one i'm going to show you today so that's kind of how you get steam and after you do that download the uh, application everything like that sign in after you sign into steam it should load up like this and at the top right you just want to click on the search bar and type in polygon this is the game I'm going to be showing you guys today, and it's very similar to Battlefield and uh, another game called Squad that most of you guys probably don't know what it is. But I feel like most of you guys would know what Battlefield is, and if you don't know what that is, it's very similar to Call of Duty. And then after you search up Polygon, you just want to scroll down a little bit and then just download the game. It should say Play Game. You click that and you start downloading it, and then you can play the game. Alright, now that we got all the tutorial stuff out of the way, now I can show you guys the actual game. When you first load up the game, you're going to see a menu just like this. You're going to be introduced with a soldier holding your weapon that you have equipped. Now, I'm going to give you guys a quick little rundown on how you play the game and stuff that you can unlock, etc., etc. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and hop straight into a game because you won't have any credits to buy anything else in the game. So you might as well just hop straight in. You go to server browse and go ahead and refresh and click on a server and click join server. Then you will load straight into a game. Now, after that game, if you did well, you might have enough credits at the top right. You have free credits and then paid credits. The paid credits, you will not be able to buy anything in-game other than skins and also a premium membership that will give you more experience and more credits each game. There's nothing really pay to win other than the subscription base, but a lot of games do this, so I don't really see it too much as pay to win because obviously you don't have to buy this uh, to do better than other people or anything like that. And then you have skins in the game that are pretty pricey, but if you guys are interested, you guys can go ahead and do that. But honestly, I don't think a lot of you guys are, so it's really up to you. And then with your free credits, it works just like how Phantom Forces does. You earn credits over time by playing games, and at the end of the games, you'll earn credits. And when you earn those credits, you can spend them on weapons in-game. Now, I bought the M16, which is like 4,000 or something like that. And then there's also optics in the game, and this is the only attachments that they have in the game so far, which kind of sucks, which I why i said it should be alpha stages not beta stages and as you can see there's a required level before you can actually buy anything which is really nice so you can't buy stuff early like you can in pf these are the only weapons you can buy currently and obviously there are some expensive ones but you had to save up quite a bit i've played i think i played about six matches to get 19,000, so it didn't take me too long to get there but i'm excited for them to release these other guns because i would love to do some sniping in this game it seems like it would be fun all right, that's pretty much everything you need to know about the game. Now let's actually hop into some gameplay. One thing I noticed about this game, it has a lot of mixed reviews, meaning that there's a lot of people that dislike it and also there's a lot of people that do like it. Most of the reviews are very positive and then there's also a good amount of them that are mixed. When I was reading these mixed reviews of people disliking the game or saying things that are bad about the game, most of them didn't make any sense when I was on, on the game playing them. It could be that some of the developers already fixed some of these issues that people are complaining about. Or the people that were typing these reviews are complaining just to complain because they might not have liked the game in general. But I had a blast of my like four hours of playing the game. I really did. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I really, really enjoy this game. That's why I want to show it to you guys uh, so we can get some fresh eyes on it and see what you guys think as well. 
and if you guys want to you can also type a review and give your honest opinion opinion on it so more of the devs can read that type of stuff and obviously they can update the game based on the opinions that people are giving i think this game is far from being perfect but the way it is now i think it's great for people to just hop on every once in a while and grind for a couple hours because it is that type of game for me at least uh, that i can definitely play for one to two hours every day Eventually, I'll probably get bored because I'm not working towards anything other than ranking up, but you don't get anything for ranking up other than those credits to buy those other weapons. Because after like rank 20 or something like that, there's nothing else to work towards uh, because you have all the required levels for all the guns and you should have enough for most of the guns in the game uh, as well. The core gameplay itself and how it flows with the map, there's only one good map in my opinion. The other map is like very heavily spawn trappy. So if you guys ever see like the nighttime map, I wouldn't play it unless you think you could probably push back a team and spawn trap them. But you want to play the daytime map that, that you guys are going to be seeing in this gameplay now. I don't remember the name of it, so I couldn't tell you. But the map that I'm playing is actually very, very balanced. Uh, you can get a couple spawn kills uh, every once in a while, but usually you don't see a bunch of people trying to push and abuse the spawn trap, which is nice. The matches can last about 20 minutes, I think, about 25 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if it just goes on for a while and it's a stalemate going back and forth, capturing points and just killing back and forth with each other. Uh, and it's just like kind of even match. It can last pretty long. The only complaints I could have for combat wise, uh, any type of PVP is that the rig, meaning the gun, the gun and how you hold the gun, the movement side to side is very, very loose. Um, I think the gameplay should be slightly loose like that, but just how it is right now, it's too loose. The way, way you move around your whole camera, just it, it just doesn't look nice. I think that's one of the biggest things they should fix. Uh, and to be honest, that's my only huge complaint when it comes to like actual gunfights. The recoil is pretty decent. Uh, when you try to spray, it's pretty hard to control. I actually don't think at a certain point when you spray too much, it's almost un uncontrollable. Uh, so that's something you can work on a little bit, adding a better recoil pattern in some way to try to control it. But obviously, when they add more attachments in the game, hopefully this will help with the recoil and everything like that. Because like I said, they only have optics. That's the second thing I have a complaint about. It's in beta stages, and there's literally only four sights that you can put on your weapon. There's no grips, nothing like that. Uh, so I think that's what they should be working on now over everything else. My third complaint that I have uh, surrounding the whole gameplay aspect is you can't climb over stuff. You have to like jump crouch on most things and a lot of time it doesn't even work and sometimes you get stuck. Uh, so they need to add some type of mantle ASAP so you can actually climb over fences and such. I definitely think the crouching could be adjusted quite a bit. Uh, the whole moving crouch uh, doesn't really seem like you go any further but as soon as you stop moving while crouching you literally are touching the ground pretty much. Uh, they could adjust that quite a bit. But those are honestly the only complaints I have for the game. Everything else seems pretty good to me. For anybody that is curious, they actually do update the game at least once a week I've been noticing. Uh, there's always an update, some sort of update, whether it's bug fixes or something very small, like character changes in some way. There's always an update every single week. I would like to see them add a little bit more into their weekly updates because sometimes it's just like we waited this long to not get a very simple thing fixed. And I understand that they might be a very new development team from the replies to the comments that people have been giving bad reviews. The way they reply seems like they're pretty new. This game is also being made on Unreal Engine, which is a very popular game to get cheaters on. So in the future, I think there will be a lot of cheaters. That is a downside. So if this game gets popular, it's probably going to be flooded with a bunch of cheaters, which is unfortunate. But hopefully they have a plan to stop that when they do go full release. Those are just a couple things I'm kind of worried about. Uh, so hopefully they start releasing bigger updates to fix these other issues. Uh, and also these bigger updates, including more attachments and more things to unlock. Uh, because honestly, I think what lacks in this game the most and what discouraged players from playing the game is the lack of rewards for leveling and the lack of need to level or want to level. Because right now you're just trying to grind every single match you can to try to get credits to just buy these weapons that you unlock so i hope they do end up figuring out how they're going to start updating the game properly for these bigger updates 
If you guys already have Steam, I'll leave a link straight to the game. Uh, so you can just click the link below and you can just go straight to the game page. It might be helpful to some of you. And if you guys don't have Steam, obviously you can just go to Steam, create an account, download the launcher, and then obviously load up the launcher, sign in, and then search for the game on the search at the top right when you load in the Steam and you'll find it. The game is called Polygon and I don't know if they're changing it or if they're keeping it this way. I'm assuming they're going to keep it this way because it's not too bad of a game. It's a weird name for FPS, but I mean, it works. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I feel like I talked enough about the game and you guys know enough about it to maybe want to try it or not. I will be on the game every once in a while, so if you guys are on, I will change my name from Opachki back to Petrified TV. So if you guys ever see me in a game, you can say hi in chat. Uh, you actually press Y to start typing in chat, I'm pretty sure, in global chat. You guys say hi to me, and I'll say hi back uh, if you guys ever see me in a match or anything like that. I don't play the game for too long. Like I said, a max one to two hours almost every single day. I at least load up for a couple matches at some point uh, in the day. So if you guys ever see me, make sure you guys say hi to me in game. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did and you would like to see more content on this and more updates of the game in the future, leave a like down below and it lets me know that you guys did enjoy this game and you like to see more of it. And I'd also love to see your guys' comments down below, your opinions on the game based off of the gameplay that I showed in the video. You can also leave your honest opinions after you go try out the game. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. I really do appreciate it. Peace out.